Want to make movies? Hey there, aspiring filmmakers. You're the new Hollywood generation. My name is Orlando Dilbert. This is Hollywood Unapologetic. I first wrote about success in filmmaking and life when I was writing Pollyanna's Tears Soak, Battlefields of Hollywood, a survival guide against the cynicism and the hypocritical. Today I wanted to speak about filmmaking essentials. The Hollywood Task Force submits white papers to New York and California governors on reopening Hollywood. For you, the new Hollywood generation, this directly applies to you. If you haven't watched the episode Filmmaking Essentials Reopening Hollywood, I'll have a link at the end of this episode for you to check out. While I was writing the initial episode on Reopening Hollywood, I decided it would be best to produce several episodes on the topic. This is a topic with many moving parts, all with enormous health and financial considerations. And yesterday, June 1st, 2020, the long-anticipated 22-page proposed health and safety guidelines for motion picture, television, and streaming productions during the COVID-19 pandemic document was sent to Governor Andrew Cuomo of New York and Governor Gavin Newsom of California. Whew, that's a hell of a title. Something I am glad to see in a document is that it's science-based and meant to be a solid foundation to build upon. Lots of testing and safety monitors, all at the core as I expected. Depending on the vulnerability factors would determine the amount of testing one individual might have over another. This could be determined in part by whether someone is in front of the camera or has close contact with on-camera talent to someone who is able to wear medically approved personal protective equipment and practice social distancing while at the workplace all day. Due to the nature and work conditions unique to our business, social distancing and PPE are not always a possibility for many of us. The document offers direction on safety and protective procedures, protocols and exposure to COVID-19 and what the response should be, regular health screenings and testing, and disinfecting your areas and departments all to help minimize risk of the spread of COVID-19. The industry principles involved came from the motion picture and television production ends of our business. This includes unions and guilds and representatives of some of the largest studios and networks. This is in addition to direct input from health experts, including world-renowned epidemiologists and infectious disease experts and industrial sanitation experts. They also included guidelines from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. And if you've watched other episodes in our Reopening Hollywood series, you know how much of an advocate I am of the work the CDC is doing. I don't mean to discount anyone else, by the way. There's a whole army of scientists and health organizations hard at work all over the world. Thank you. Just getting reliable and updated information in today's political climate has made reliability and timely information more of a challenge. The CDC's website has been consistent in keeping the information current. There is quite a lot of information in this document and just impossible for me to list every single item in an episode. I am, however, including the link to a downloadable PDF from the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers in the episode description below. While periodic and regular testing, social distancing, and cleaning and disinfection procedures are all crucial prevention undertakings needed to keep cast and crew safe, it is expected protocols may change as technology and special training evolves. I am curious to see how both governors' offices respond, and the same on the local level of New York City and Los Angeles, two of the hardest cities hit in the United States. I am curious to see if this proposed safety protocol and guidelines to help jumpstart the entertainment industry safely could be considered and adopted in some part into the unreleased production reopening plans for both states to reopen. We are going to have to wait and see. Bottom line, anyone working as part of any film crew has to accept it is a very tightly run unit. And as I mentioned throughout this series, we as members of the new Hollywood generation are all in it together. We're all in close proximity of one another and under normal circumstances sometimes our lives are at risk while on the clock. Today the risk is higher and this way of working and living may be with us for months or even years to come. Be safe, be smart, take it all one day at a time and don't forget to be great. I'm going to add a link at the very end to the episode Filmmaking Essentials Reopening Hollywood. If you haven't checked it out I think you'll dig it. Are you ready for the challenge?